sometimes in SEO, you just want someone to page you or fax you or ping you if something is going really well and your pages are, are spiking uh, in rankings and click-through rates and impressions, um, or if your pages are crashing and they're getting lower impressions, lower cr click-through rates. Um, you just want to know, like, is, is anything changing here um, that I can react to or, or do something based on? So that's what this template does. It's specifically designed um, to detect anomalies in your search performance. So it uses the Google Search Console data from their API, um, and it basically does some simple statistics of looking at moving averages for each of your query page combos and plucking out anything that's above or below those moving averages for those query page combos. So let's dive into the template and see how you can set this up and, and use it for yourself. Um, so the first thing to note is this only uses Search Console API data, no other data source. Um, and there's two ways that you can pull that data into the sheet to run the analysis. The first way um, is, and this is the free template that I've released, uses uh, Blockspring or Supermetrics, which are Google Sheets add-ons that you can use to pull data into Sheets. Um, uses either of those tools to pull data into the sheet from Search Console. So both of those are paid tools. Um, so you will have to sign up and, and pay for those to use them. Um, but in the Rank Tank Pro section, there, there's a version of this template that you uses custom code to pull in data. So you don't have to pay for additional tools. Um, but the Rank Tank Pro um, membership site only has that, that version. So once you pick kind of how you want to be pulling data into the sheet, the Getting Started tab here really walks through all of the setup. So I'm on the Rank Tank Pro version of this template, so it has some additional kind of API setup steps to work with Google's APIs. Um, but really, once you're through with all that setup, you can get into the meat of this template, which is in step two, in which you pull all of the sites that you have available to, uh, to run this analysis on. So this is all of the sites that are connected in Search Console to the Google account that you authed. So let's see here. So I have, let's do Coding is for Losers here, which is my blog. So in the, let's zoom in a little bit here. So in the third step, you just select a site and you select a date range that you want to look at anomalies for. I like to do the last week and look at this weekly and just see, okay, what, what happened this week? Anything good, anything bad? Um, did anything I did over the previous few weeks kind of come to fruition? Let's see what's going on here. So after you select a date range and a site, um, we're going to actually get data from Search Console. You can see once this running script finishes, we have data. Cool, so that's finished. And now you can see what's this is calculating all of our different anomalies. Um, and how this how this sheet works is pretty simple. It uses a query function to pull in um, all of our data from Search Console. So that's this query function in cell A1. Pulls all of these stats, our average impressions, total days found, total clicks for all of these page and query combinations, or URL and keyword, however you want to talk about it. So what this does is takes the last 90 days of data. So this is our 90 day moving averages. And then we pull in just data for our current period. So that's what this VLOOKUP is doing here. Pulls in our current impressions, clicks, click through rates, and positions. And then it's just looking at the percentage changes between all of those. And you can see it calculating here. A lot, a lot of math happening in the background. So it's basically saying, okay, what, what were the percentage change of the current period versus the moving average? So all of that data comes together in all pages. And then on the dashboard, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see this. Um, on the dashboard, you can basically select your thresholds for what qualifies as an anomaly. Um, and it will spit out for you both positive anomalies, pages and, and queries that had more impressions 
than before, um, a higher click-through rate. So like my Google Sheets query content is, seems to be doing pretty well with click-through rates. Um, an average position, so like Google Docs query ranking fourth, that's, that's pretty good. Um, and then you, you also see, if you scroll to the right, some negative anomalies. So you'll see uh, daily impressions went down on Google Sheets query join from five to four. Okay. Click-through rate for my own for my own branded keyword is going ha went in half last week. I wonder what I said. <laughs> but you can you can just start to see that you can really quickly visualize all of your positive and negative anomalies for the period. And there's just a couple settings to play around with. Um, the first setting is the second. Actually, let's talk about the second setting first. So the percent change to a threshold for an anomaly. This basically says what percentage change here qualifies. Because if you set it, and you can play around with this based on your data. If you set it too low, you'll have too many um, too many anomalies to really look at. If you set it too high, you won't have any. So I keep it set at 25%. And then in terms of impressions, you might have some super low impression pages, um, page query combos, that maybe they went from one impression to two, and they that's 100% spike, so that'd qualify as an anomaly, but you don't really care because that's not, that page and query isn't on your radar in terms of driving any real traffic to your site. So I like to keep um, the minimum impressions threshold here at just above average, you could take it up to two standard deviations above or three even, which would just be like your top, top pages. Generally, I just keep it at above average. Um, and that way, low impression pages won't appear on these anomalies. But that's really the template. It's, um, it's a pretty straightforward one, but I found pretty powerful at helping you, helping you identify pages that are either page and query commas that are either spiking or crashing. Um, and like I mentioned, there's two versions of this template that are, um, that are public. The, the first version that you can get either on Rank Tank or in the Codings for Losers template vault is the free version that uses Blockspring or Supermetrics, and those are paid tools. Um, and the second version that's only available through Rank Tank Pro um, uses custom app script code to pull in data so you don't have to pay for those other add-ons. So that's all for the template. Hope you enjoy it. Take care.